So we've seen that there are different ways in which energy is stored. What I'd like to look at now are the different ways in which we can actually transfer energy from one store to another. Now what we have here is a hot object and it's going to start cooling down. So this cup of tea currently has energy in a the thermal store and over time the energy is going to be transferred to the surroundings, to the, to the room that I'm in, to the air, and their thermal store is going to increase. And so the first mechanism that we have is what we call heating. The next way of transferring energy is electrically. Say for example we had the chemical energy stored in these batteries. When this is connected up as part of a complete circuit, we then have the flow of an electric current. And so our second way of transferring energy is electrically. Now the third way is by radiation, and this is really where we have waves. Often this could be things like sound, in the way that my voice is getting to the microphone, or also light. But not just light, we also have all parts of the electromagnetic spectrum. So this could include things like radio waves, it could include infrared, ultraviolet, and so on. I mean, for example, at the moment, uh, I, although we can see the light, my hand is also getting really hot. And this is due to the infrared radiation which is radiating out from this lamp. So radiation is our third way of transferring energy. And the final way is by mechanical working. This is often one of the most common ways of transferring energy. And this is when you apply a force to something over a distance. And when you're doing that, there's this mechanical work taking place and then there's that transfer of energy. So the way that I like to think about this is HERM. Just, you know, just remember that. Uh, so you've got heating, electrical, radiation, and mechanical. And energy that's transferred from one store to another, somehow it will fit into one of these four transfer processes. Thank you.